William Thomas Green Morton was born on August 9, 1819, in Charlton, Massachusetts. He grew up in a family of farmers and went on to study dentistry at Baltimore College of Dental Surgery. After completing his studies, he established a successful dental practice in Boston, Massachusetts. Despite his success as a dentist, Morton was always searching for ways to improve the field of dentistry and make the practice of surgery less painful for patients. He became interested in the use of inhaled ether as a general anesthetic after hearing about its use in Europe. In 1846, Morton first publicly demonstrated the use of inhaled ether as a general anesthetic during a surgical procedure at Massachusetts General Hospital. Prior to this, surgery was often performed without pain relief and was considered to be a frightening and painful experience for patients. With the use of ether, patients were able to undergo surgery without feeling any pain, which greatly improved the success rate and safety of surgical procedures. Morton's discovery revolutionized the field of surgery and was quickly embraced by the medical community. However, his use of ether as an anesthetic was initially met with skepticism and criticism. Despite this, Morton continued to advocate for the use of ether and eventually convinced several prominent medical professionals to give it a try. After several successful demonstrations, the use of ether quickly became widespread. Morton received recognition for his discovery and was awarded a substantial sum of money. However, he also faced legal battles over the patent rights to ether, which complicated the situation and caused him some financial difficulties. Despite the challenges he faced, William T.G. Morton continued to make contributions to the field of medicine throughout his life. He died on July 15, 1868, but his legacy lives on as one of the pioneers of modern anesthesia. His contribution to the field of medicine remains significant and is widely acknowledged. His discovery paved the way for future advancements in the field and has greatly improved the lives of countless patients undergoing surgical procedures.